going to be doing some rehouses and I got in a new shipment of spiders. So we're gonna be doing an unboxing. I'm just gonna show you my bedspread though. Since it fits the spider theme. So these are the one of those bedspreads you can get on from Facebook. Pretty good. It's it's a decent quality. Not great. It's one of the um I don't know, it's kind of like a polyester type, but it is thin. The only thing I will say is so it comes from China when you order it. I ordered this back in January. I didn't get it in till last week and this is a king size and if you can see it doesn't cover so if you have a king size bed i would think about something different if you have a queen size bed or one of the other sizes order a size bigger but anyway it is pretty so my shipment that i'm getting in today came from Simply Spiders on Facebook. Um, you can look them up. I've ordered from them before. I already opened it because it's my mom's birthday and we were waiting for the spiders to get here and then we went and ate lunch. But when it, they come in, it comes in with all sorts of packing and a nice styrofoam box. Um, he tapes them all down nice and secure. I did get a bigger spider that's in the kitchen that we will show going into a different enclosure pretty soon. But um, when I've ordered them in the winter, in colder months, there's been a heat pack in there with them. Um, it's warm right now, so there hasn't been, there wasn't a heat pack this time, but they always come in nice and secure. So we're gonna be doing the rehouses on these. And then I have two others that I think I'm going to be rehousing as well. Okay, so the first rehouse is going to be my uh, T. Pluma peas. Um, we're going to be moving her into this enclosure. So I did put a drainage layer, but she doesn't seem to care so much about a lot of moisture. So. I can keep it a little bit more moist, but she does kind of dig um, a little bit of web tunnels or does some webbing. If you look at this enclosure that she's in, she did some web curtains, some things like that, and has some tunnels. There is a little bit of digging down in the dirt, but not a whole lot. She doesn't seem to really care so much whether or not it's dry or moist. I just usually keep the water bowl full and then overflow it a little bit. I did um, do a cork bark up on the side and then put some moss back there where she can begin to build her some webs. And this will give her some room to kind of grow and move. Um, she might grow out of this one. I think they get four and a half to five inches. So she'll probably end up growing out of this one and moving into something a little bit bigger. But for right now, this is where we're gonna put her. Uh, I haven't had to do a rehouse on her yet. So we're gonna see how this goes. This barely fits into my box. So we're going to see how it does. Okay, so I don't have anybody that can help me video while I do the rehouse. So I'm gonna have to just kind of do a little bit. So what I'm gonna plan on doing, she is right down there and she will kick hairs. Um, they have a fairly mild venom, it's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna try to take out the cork bark without getting her too pissed off. And then we're gonna try to just gently get her coaxed to move into this other enclosure and hopefully she'll just go behind there and hide out. We'll see how this goes. Alrighty, I got the cork bark out and I've got her kind of leaning up there. I'm gonna see, I'm not paying attention to the camera so I don't really know if you guys are gonna be able to see too much. I'm just gonna try to get her to coax her to go where I want her to go. 
And right now she just wants to go after the brush. Switch to, I'll switch to this. So if she bites it, she doesn't hurt her fangs. really carefully just trying to coax her to move into the new enclosure. All right, and she's in there. Let's see if I can get a nice pretty picture of her. There she is. All right, on to our next one. Okay, so my next rehouse is gonna be my Asian Nicolata or Giant White Knee. And the reason why we're gonna be rehousing her is because there's a little bit of mold. It's not a lot of mold, and I probably could just let it dry out some, but when I did this enclosure, I made it up too high and she really doesn't have a lot of space. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and rehouse her anyway, just to give her a little bit more space around the top and then just to take care of the mold problem right now since I'm doing other rehouses. All right, so all I did for her was basically the same setup, just a little bit bigger. Um, did a cork bark hide, plenty of substrate for her to dig in, water dish. It's basically going to be the same. So the problem with her is she is all the way buried down in there. So I'm going to take out her cork bark hide. We're going to try to get her to come up a little bit. And then if I can do all that, we'll see. I don't know. She's usually not too bad. She'll kick hairs when she's upset, so usually she doesn't bolt too bad. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to stick this down in here so she will maybe start working her way back up towards the top. Maybe I can get her to decide to bolt, come back up to the top. There we go. She's kicking hair a little bit. What I would like her to do is to just move right over the top. And into her new enclosure. She is pre multi. There we go. Very good. All into the new enclosure. Some nice look at her with her pre molt booty. She did eat yesterday. I would imagine she's probably not going to eat again just because she's looking pretty pre multi. But there she is. This is my Afana Pelma Calcodes. She isn't getting rehoused, but she's out. So I thought I would show what she looks like since in the last feeding video, she was all hiding. But there she is. All right, so now in this uh, 
unboxing video, we got four C Versa colors. We got an NNC, a C Daringi, a C, it should be the C Lidi, Livi, Lividium. And then, yeah, I can't even pronounce that one. So we're gonna have to learn how to pronounce that one. And then I'll say what it is. And I have one more that's a bigger five inch T Blondie. So I will show that one later. But we're gonna start with the Versicolors and work our way through, I guess. All right, so we're gonna start out with the Carabina Versa colors, or I think it's Antilles Pinkto. I don't know for sure. Anyway, so this is gonna kind of be their setup. It's I've got some dirt in there for them to dig a little bit, but they are kind of like a like Avix, so they are uh, arboreal. So we've got a little water dill up there, some plant in it, um, a cork bark with some sphagnum moss behind it to keep the moisture up. They need moisture, but they also need lots of ventilation. So there's lots of ventilation on these and then on the lids, lots of ventilation. So I have four set up exactly the same. So we're gonna get this going. All right, so there's the little spider down in there, teensy tiny. So what I found is the easiest way with simply spiders, little straws like this, is to just kind of get them where, get them in there like that, and then use something else to push them. All right, so I've got the camera set up. So we're gonna see, we can't just push this little guy right out. Let's see if I can get, him, get her to come up on the paintbrush. And she comes to our hand. And now she's on me. Okay, so I'm going to have to pause this so I can try to get her to go in to her little... Closure before she bolts halfway up my arm. There we go. Trying to get it to go down. Out for a little stroll, out for a little stroll, back up. And she is down right there now. So there we go. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the second one. This one, though, is going to come out with the... first piece of Alrighty. It's right there. You 
These are such pretty little slings. You. Try to get it to go back down. Let's see if maybe it'll work its way back down and fit right into the right into the enclosure. Little little bolty, but there we go. No 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 back in back in This one's way more bolty, so I don't know how we're gonna work it. Might have to pause, because it's gonna go up my arm if I don't. So we're gonna pause. All right, we did get this one in. It's very, very bolty, but it's right there. So on to the next one. Okay, so we're gonna do the third one. get lucky and I'll get it to go in and stay in this time. There it is right there. We're going to see if we can't get it to just And there we go. It's behind the cork bark. Easiest one so far. That's the kids ready. All right, last verse of color. So we're gonna hope this one is just as easy as the last one. and right on up into my hand. All right. Um, there's a good look at it. Oh, it's trying to climb up. So we're gonna have to pause video. I was able to get hit get her to go right into her enclosure. So there she is, pretty, pretty. All right, so next is going to be the C Darlingi or the rear horn bab baboon. This one's a fairly good size and it, I don't know if you can see it in there. And it is a baboon species from South Africa. So it has some nasty venom. So not, Okay, so we're gonna try to rehouse it. Just hold back here where I keep it right there on the thingy, okay? Mm -hmm. This one is a nasty one. So I would prefer not to get bit. the thing go to. And it's still in there. But we're gonna watch it. It looks like it's gonna we're definitely watching this one because it's 
got some nasty venom. Mm. I prefer not to be bit by it. I don't know if I can push this. I can't. We might decide to leave it like this. We'll see how it goes. Hoping it's going to just want to go down into its little thing. It won't just go down to the bottom by itself? Oh, it will. I want it to go down here and to... Oh, it's out. It's out, but it's got its legs stuck in the paper towel, so... Gotta be really careful. Okay. Alrighty. Well, it had its little legs stuck in the paper towel, but it's out and there it is. This one, I can't tell for certain about the holes on it. I'm just gonna watch it for a little bit while we do the rest of the rehouses and make sure that it's not gonna be able to escape these holes. If it is, I'll just find something else to stick it in. So next up is going to be the C. Livington, Livington Lavidian. Um, this one is a fast spider from Thailand. Uh, it's a terrestrial that likes to burrow. Uh, we're going to see how this goes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to video. Too much of it because I'm not messing around with the spider. These spiders are fast and they got nasty venom, so we will see. Got his little start starter burrito for it. This is a little small guy. Let's see what happens when I start pulling. I think the spider's coming out with the yeah, the spider's coming out with the napkins. So got to be extremely careful. And these guys do like to be bolty bolty, so. It stayed in, but it's right there, so. I'm hoping a little bit of a push, it will go, go into its little burrow. It bolted back towards the paper, so... It's out. It is right there. 
can't see it very well, but it's right there. So, good job. All right, so the next one is this one. I can't even begin to pronounce the name, but it's a Hillebrachy species. Um, so it comes from China. So again, super fast, super strong venom. He's out. There it is. Fairly easy compared. These enclosures are a little big for these for these guys, but I've done big ones and little ones and thick enclosures before, so there it is. Not much to look at right now. There it is. All right, so here's what I did. I did decide on this um, one right here that I was going to, the rear horn baboon, that I was going to cover up the holes with a uh, stuff that will still allow air through, uh, but he can't get out. So then I don't have to worry about it because he did start to threat posture me a little bit and get all defensive but anyway now he won't be able to get out so we'll be secure so our last one that we're gonna rehouse well it's not our last one I have an NC but I needed to dry out the substrate and now the substrate's hot so I have one more but we're gonna do the T blondie it's about a five inch don't know the sex yet because it keeps destroying smolt just molted like three weeks ago. This is going to be its enclosure, which is probably going to be too big for it right now, but will eventually be good for it. Got rubber gloves on because these guys have some nasty hairs. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cap off of this since it's right there at the top. It was way down in there and that thing was covering it, but I opened it up to check on it earlier and it's moved up there now. So I'm gonna take off the cap and probably set this down and hopefully it'll just go right into it, that little burrow. Not a problem, but we will see. Okay, so hopefully you're gonna be able to see the burrows right there. I'm try to very carefully pop off this top without opening it all the way. be exceedingly nice if it just decided to wiggle its happy little booty back down to the bottom since its head's right there but tweezers. So, hold on a second. Alright, got back with tweezers. might just be easier just to leave it like this. I think because these guys do have some nasty hairs and she is right there, I th think what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to leave it and let it wiggle its butt out on its own. Makes it super easy. Don't have to worry about getting bit. Don't have to worry about getting haired and less stress on the spider. So I will come back in video hopefully when it's out. 
and she's out and in her hide. Looking good. There was a lot of hair on that in there, that little thing that she was in. But hopefully we can get her to eat here in the next couple days because I don't think she's even eaten yet. All right, so our last one to rehouse is going to be the NNC. Took me a little while because all of my dirt was semi-moist, so I had to dry it out in the oven. But we're gonna go ahead and rehouse this one. I think this one is a juvenile. It looks like it's a fairly good size. So we are gonna see. We're gonna try it the same way we've been doing it and maybe the grandkids are in here to help walk to help with it uh, okay so Watch. I got his butt so we should be able to push it just fine <laughs> I don't know what their bite in these guys is. I know I'm not gonna let this thing crawl on my hand, so. Hopefully it's just gonna go right inside its burrow. Back out, back out, back out. It. Definitely wants the the tube. The tube. So oh, please don't jump there it is. Let's see if we can get the tube from it. Maybe. Oh, I think it's my. I think its little feet might be stuck in the tube. They had another one. Its feet was stuck in the tube. So just push this all the way out. Yeah, his feet were stuck. Yeah. Oh, I thought he wanted it. Poor thing. That's okay. He just got his little feet stuck in the thing, but there we go. So this is a dwarf species. They only get to be about three inches, so it won't get to be very big. They do web a lot. This is one of the species that can be housed communally, although with varied results. Sometimes you end up with one fat spider and sometimes you don't, but we won't be doing that. These come in several different color forms. I think um, gold and something else. I don't, but you can have both color forms in the same sack, so it doesn't really matter. You don't have to breed them separate. But anyway, there it is. Fairly good size. Hopefully next time we'll be able to sex a molt.